Hi folks, it's good to be with you today. Uh, we're here to share the word of God. That Jesus Christ is the Savior today. And uh, in Ephesians chapter 1, in, in the word of God, in Ephesians chapter 1, we read uh, about the grace of God. We read about the grace of God. It says, grace and peace to in our Lord Jesus Christ, that Christ offers us peace. He offers us joy and mercy. God bless you. He offers us peace and mercy. He offers us His grace. He offers us His love today. All the riches of Christ are in Him. All the riches of Christ are in Him. All the fullness of the Godhead are bodily are in Him. Uh, and if you want to go to heaven today, if you want to go to heaven and know that you're going to heaven, if you want to know that you're going to heaven and know the peace of God in your life, then in Ephesians chapter 1, it talks about we have redemption. We have redemption through the Lord Jesus Christ. And redemption means that Christ shed his blood, that Christ died and gave his life for us. That we could be redeemed. That we could go to heaven. That's why he died on that cross. That's why he gave his life for us on that cross. That's why he shed his blood. And all the riches of heaven, all the riches of God can be found in Christ, can be found in Him. All the riches. And so if you want to go to heaven, if you want to go to heaven today, and know that you're going to heaven, but also if you want to know God now in your life, then it's by knowing Christ. Only He can save you. Only He can help you. Only He can help you, my friend. Only He can help. For He shed His blood for you on that cross. His redemption. He paid the price. He died on your behalf and shed His blood on your behalf and gave His life on your behalf that you might be reconciled to God. That you might be reconciled to God. That you might have a hope and a future. He gave up his life that you may have a hope and a future. That you may have a hope and a future. He gave up his life for you on that cross. He laid down his life for you on that cross. That you may have life. That you may have a hope. The Bible calls it redemption. The Bible calls it redemption. It calls the Jesus Christ his blood. The blood of Christ was shed for you on that cross. The blood of Christ was shed for you. And there he laid down his life for you. That you may be reconciled. That you may know God. That you may be right with God. That you may have a peace with God. That you may know His mercy. That you may know His love. That you may know His grace. Oh. Okay. Could you do it again? Uh, yes, in, in, uh, how long? Um, I'll just, uh, just turn this off. 